planning on doing this today, but sometimes you just have to let the food lead you. So <laughs> I had some butternut squash from a project I was going to do and it didn't happen. So I was getting bad and then I got more butternut squash in my Misfits box. So therefore I had to make butternut squash soup and I also had some summer squash that came in my box. So had to use that also because it was also in need of use. <laughs> and I just so happened to have just made a chicken stock late recently so that was conveniently available so you can see how jelly that is it's like super jellyified I don't know if you can tell so I'm gonna mix them all up and make some butternut squash soup here we go just a shallow bit of salty water and after these soak for today and tonight tomorrow I'll dry them and put them in my toaster oven and maybe I will end up making granola because I've got these seeds my seeds my butter squash butternut squash seeds are tasting they're all nice and dry now but not quite toasted, so need some more time. So the seeds were toasted very well, and the way that I knew they were toasted is I ate one, and it kind of had a kind of like a crunchy popcorny kind of feeling, and you can tell from some of them they were starting to get like brown like this. So then you're definitely you know, want to take them out before they burn. Cause, so these are pretty good, pretty well toasted. They feel like light and airy kind of, so that would be a nice addition to our granola. Hello, I'm in my coat because it's very cold out. It is raining and it is snowing. So I just came back from the store and in preparation for granola, I got some more oats. Um, Red Mill Bob's Oats. I figure technically you should soak oats overnight if you're using them to make oatmeal if you are abiding by the Weston A. Price recommendations because it helps it to be better digested. So I'm not sure if I should soak them just like I would soak, like just like I soaked my seeds and then toast them. I'm gonna try it. I couldn't find it in the book. I just saw oatmeal and hot cereal in nursing traditions, so I'm just gonna give it a try. I got some almonds. These are real almonds from Nature's Harvest. Organics, bulk stuff. Seems good. And just in case this all goes terribly wrong, I got some of Nature's Harvest is like a local place where they have like herbs and all kinds of organic things. I got some of their granola too. So I figured hmm, I could just mix this in with whatever I have. Or if it goes terribly wrong, I could uh, just use this so that the loss will be less traumatizing. Because <laughs> honestly, the first time you make anything, it's kind of a hit. You just have no idea if it's going to turn out or not because. It's the first time doing it, so yeah, wish me luck. So here we are. I think it's done. Just mixing it around with this butter knife. 
it seems like it's really dried out. Some of it's all stuck together, which is good. And seems good to me. So now um, we can add the fruit. Um, I could not find any raisins or cranberries that were organic, which is sad. I honestly have only ever found them once on Imperfect Foods. They have the most incredible raisins you've ever tasted. They are absolutely incredible. And honestly, I was thinking of making an order of just those raisins because they're so good. But for now, you do what you can. I was at Aldi's and they had some dried cranberries. I was like, well, they say that they, you know, flood the fields and stuff when they pick them. So maybe they're kind of rinsed before they're dried more so than other fruits would be. I don't know. So I'm going to put some of these in. And I'm going to put in my butternut squash seeds, which are still here. And we'll just mix those all in together. And um, voila. In the future, I don't know if I would toast my butternut squash seeds at the same time as the almonds and the granola. To be honest, let's taste an almond. The almonds are not fully toasted. Even though the oats seem to be fully toasted. I don't know how an oat would toast the same rate as an almond anyway. I don't know if I should toast them more. <laughs> so, I don't know. I feel like all these things should toast at different speeds, I think. But, you know, maybe I will stick them back in the oven a little longer just in case. This is really good. This is really good. And it all started having too many butternut squashes and it led to this. We gotta follow the food.